Hi, in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate you that how we can create a 2D rigged character by using Inkscape and Blender. So let's get into it. Here, I open Inkscape and now I will import a file which I downloaded from Prefix website. And just ungroup it a couple of times. Now we delete that part of drawing that we don't use. So we don't need this, this, we need to space this. That's fine. Okay, now we keep this face expressions for later animations. Now see that file, and if you find that kind of mistakes, just double click it. Move these nodes like that and make sure that no mistakes happen. Okay, if you can see, uh, if we can just send it back, this part is individual parts, so we don't need it. We just delete that part and select this and press a control plus to join them, or you can just go to path and union. Now duplicate that part and control plus select it. Sorry, shift plus select it and press control minus. And if you can have that kind of thing, so sorry, just delete that. Okay, now we have these two different parts. We have to do it for all the hands and legs. Like these are individual parts you can see. We can just select control plus select control plus and for here we just don't need it control plus duplicate it control minus here we have that part and we don't have that mistake here control plus Control plus select that part. Press control plus. And here maybe a color. Okay. So for color, we just move it here. Make it duplicate. Sorry. We want duplicate of this color. Control minus and select that part and delete. And if you can see, we we have this part. Okay, separated part. Uh, same for these legs. Like if I change this color and send it back. Oh, there's a two parts. So delete it and just press Control plus. Uh, here plus, plus. And use match that color yeah so here uh, for this face just select it and go to file file export png and export your file Export your file where you want to keep your faces like this and export all the all of them so we can animate the face later. So I already have done it, so I don't do it. Okay, now delete it. And if you wish, you can scale it up a little bit. So now save this file. I'm just in the desktop characters and make it ch for whatever you want to give this name and close that file. Now we have to import our SVG file in this Blender file. So let's do it. Press A and delete all and go to 
top view by pressing 7 on a numpad. Go to file, import, scalable vector graphic. Go to your desired location where you save your SVG file and import it. It's imported but it's too small so we just have to scale it by pressing A, S and 10. Uh, if you can notice, this object is a curve object, so uh, we don't need it. Uh, so select all, go to object, convert to mesh from curve metasurf text. Now go to tab view, so you can see that our objects are converted now. Uh, so we don't need that uh, weird geometry here. So to rid of it. Uh, we just select all, press X, limit it is all. Uh, and our origin is too far from our object, so just go to object, set origin, and to geometry. Okay. Now, uh, move this object, individual objects, or uh, so uh, we can see that our objects are separated now. So we just join them by pressing control j oh, same for this so now our both object are joined for this control j okay now uh, just move this individual part to their locations so we can rig them like this hand is here or if you have precision you want to use x-ray mode you can do it like so just move it here here yes. and we don't we have to do some for this objects and we do that so let's see it. Here. Here. Okay. Now we just select these parts and rotate them. So fit it like that. It doesn't have to be accurate, uh, but it's good that you eyeball it. Okay, so our body message is ready. But you can see that our objects are overlapping each other. So to avoid this, we just uh, move some part of it by Z For that, Z so our object are not overlapping each other and same for that Here, you can see now our objects are not overlapping each other. Uh, so, uh, we just move this object to this 3D cursor. 
and now uh, we import our face so let's go to import and import images as plain uh, go to your desired location where you save your all the faces uh, import one of them and make sure you just when you import it then you uh, name it like one two three and four so we can use it later and if you cannot see this changes to texture scale it down scale it down move it like that okay and move it down z negative zero one okay and then just this layer okay now we have our face we have body now we are ready to go to rig it uh, press select all control j and and in this origin to 3d cursor which is here press r x 90 and go to front view uh, press shift a armature or single bone uh, move it like this and press tab back tab and move it like this okay e z for head and e s for hand this one also we have to create this rig okay And uh, hmm. Z. E. Duplicate it by press fifty. Move this node here and here. Okay. Our rig it rigs is pretty much ready. And uh, just change this setting you go to in front. Okay. And select our object, then the bone, press Ctrl P and armature deform with empty groups. It is important because if we try to rig it by uh, automatic weights, it will show our re weird results. So empty groups. Okay. Now select our bone and select our object go to weight paint mode uh, select our head bone press tab and select our vertices that are we used to assign that face on, on only and press assign now you can see that it changed to red that is assigned to that bone we have to do this process for all the parts like select this hand bone and select this part by pressing L and press assign so this bone is assigned to that area and just have to L okay assign select this hand bone press L and select press assign okay and for body you have to select this bone select this by pressing L select this one and select in this color also and press assign so this change to that and just go to this bone press l l and assign and same for that bone you just press l tap and assign okay assign same for the legs assign assign select this bone select this part assign select this bone select this part by pressing L this part and select this bone go to tab view L 
a sign. I look this one. Look this part. Sorry. This part that's a sign. Okay. This part. Okay. Okay, this is already assigned. So you can check that our, all objects are assigned to the individual bones. Okay, we are ready to go. Our character is pretty much ready. So if you want to check it, select this bone and go to pose mode. And press R. You can rotate it like that, like that. And that so you can rig it and keyframe it where you like the head is ready uh, I'm gonna change it to sticks so uh, we want to animate our face also so select that uh, object and go to your face material go to uh, shading tab Uh, select this node. I just want to make it move for it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just change this single image to image sequencer. And now, if you click this offset value, you can see that your images are changing. So, by helping of that, you can animate your character very easily and very fast. So like that and now if you go to the image property here uh, it's also here like you can change it quickly the animation and you can have a quick keyframes we can set like rotation location r r r Here and press R, 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 right, I, location, rotation, and you can see that my character is moving, and my face expressions are also changing. So we can do that. that so that's for all and that's for now thank you very much